boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to talk about skip counting by fives and ones on a number line. And we're also going to relate that to using the clock. So our learning goal for today says, I can count by fives and ones on a number line to tell the time to the nearest minute. Okay, so let's jump in and we're going to get started with a review problem first. So it's an application problem, and you're actually going to talk about the same problem in relation to our concept development that comes later in the video in your debrief part of your lesson for today. So make sure you pay close attention to this problem and how it relates to our next problem um, to talk about it with your learning guide at the end of today's lesson. So the problem says there are 12 tables in the cafeteria. Five students sit at each of the first 11 tables. Three students sit at the last table. How many students are sitting at the 12 tables in the cafeteria? So for me, I wanna draw a picture to solve this problem. What I actually would like for you guys to do is um, before I draw my picture, I want you guys to pause this video and I want you to try and solve this problem um, using your dry erase board to be able to see how you would solve it and then we'll compare how I solved it to you, how you solved it. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, I'm ready to share my problem. So if you need more time, make sure you click pause. But here we go. So here's how I would draw this problem. So I'm going to draw 12 tables. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, as I'm thinking about this, I drew this last table over here a little bit smaller. Why do you think I might have drawn this last table a little bit smaller? Yeah, because three students sit at the last table. So five students sit at the first 11 tables, and then the last one sits three students. So I want to kind of label this because this is really like a tape diagram. So out of all of these, it's 12 tables, but I don't know how many students. So now I need to go back and label this to help me figure it out. So at the first table, there was five, second five, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and 11th table, there was five students that sat at the first 11 tables. Now the last table only sat 12, or sorry, only sat three. The 12th table sat three students. So that's how it's a little bit smaller in my picture, just a little bit, um, and I labeled it with three students. I'm gonna count by fives, because each one of these is five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then I have three left over, right? I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna come down here and write an addition sentence to help me remember. So I have 55 plus three. So remember my 55 came from the first 11 tables. And then after that is my third, uh, my 12th table that had three students at it. So 55 plus three equals 58. How did you guys match up compared to what I solved in? I'm sure you did a great job. If yours is different on how you solved it, that's okay as long as you came up with 58. If you came up with something other than 58, maybe you might want to check out how I solved this problem again. So you can always rewind and watch this part of the problem again. Okay, so let's jump into our lesson with telling time to the nearest minute um, using a number line today. We're going to skip count by fives and ones to be able to solve those problems. So we're going to draw our own number line. Excuse me, friends. So for this part, you are going to need your dry erase pocket. You're also going to need a ruler that goes from one centimeter or zero, actually, centimeters to 12 centimeters. So make sure you grab those materials. If you need those, go ahead and grab it um, and then come back to the video and we'll try and draw this number line together. So if you have your materials, here is how you're going to do this. So you're going to use your ruler to draw a 12 centimeter line on your board. So take your ruler, stretch it across your paper, draw from zero to 12, draw a line straight across. Okay, so that's what I did there. Then you're gonna start at the zero mark and make a tick mark at each centimeter on the number, um, up to the number 12. So you have your line still right there, your ruler. So at zero, you draw a little line on your number line. And then when you get to one centimeter, draw a number line, another line like this, so zero. Then this is gonna be your one centimeter two centimeters, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, okay? 
Now that you've done that, you won't need your ruler. You can put that to the side. We're actually going to label this. So this is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. I want you to label that on your number line as well. Okay. Now, as you're doing that, I want you to be thinking about this. What do you think? Excuse me, friends. What do you think that 0, 5, 10, all the way to 60, what do you think that represents if we're talking about using a number line to measure time? Yeah, it stands for the number of minutes because there's 60 minutes in one hour. Great job, friends. Okay, so we want to find the number 58 on the number line. And to do that, we're going to count by fives until we get to 58. So we could start here, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, right? So how many fives did we just count to get to 55? Because I can't get to 58 because there's no 58 on my number line. So I stopped at 55 because that's as close as I can get. Um, and 60 is too far. So we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We counted 11 fives. Whew, that's a lot. Okay, so now we need to come in here and do some ones because we know that in between 55, we'll go 56, 57, 58, 59, and then we would be at 60 as our next one. So in between each one of our numbers on our number line, there's actually four little like ticks in between, which stands for the individual minutes. So the dark black lines are every five minutes. Those are five minute intervals. Intervals are just a period of time. The red lines are one minute of time. So the interval is one minute for those. Okay, so there is my 58. So I went 55, 56, 57, 58 to land right there. How many ones did we just count by? So we're at 55, so we went one, two, three. Three ones. So I could write this as an addition sentence. You guys wanna see this, ready? I could do 11 fives plus three ones to be able to solve this problem. Now, 11 fives, I kind of have to stop and think about that a lot, right, to be able to solve that. But you already did that because we just skip counted by fives. So I could actually write this as a multiplication sentence to maybe make it easier for me. I could write it as 11 times five because 11 times five is just skip counting by fives 11 times plus those three ones, which gives me 58. So check that out, friends. We're using multiplication and a number line and time all in one problem. Okay, so tricky, maybe a little bit, but we're gonna do another one together, okay? So, I arrived at school this morning at 7.37 a.m. Let's find that time on our number line. So, we're gonna use the very same strategy that we just did to draw our number line. What I would suggest you guys do now is take out a blank piece of paper and I would draw your number line on the piece of paper like we just did with the ruler all the way 12 centimeters and then every centimeter is its own um, five minute interval, okay? So you want, to be, want it to go back to just how we did it last time. So here's your 12 centimeter line, go all the way through 12 centimeters, then go back and label each one just like that, okay? The reason why you want to draw that on a piece of paper is because this will help you with your problem set to be able to have this to go back to because then now you can slide it on the blank piece of paper, slide it right in your dry erase pocket um, and you'll be able to write on that over and over again. Okay, so zero in this number line is representing 7 a.m. Okay, and then the 60 minutes is representing 8 a.m because from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., 60 minutes have gone by. So that's one hour in between, and 60 minutes is one hour. So which unit should we count by to get to 737? Yeah, we have to count by fives, right? Because we need to get to that 30-something, right? So we're gonna count by fives. And then we also have to count by ones because it's not on one of those nice even numbers that end in a zero or a five, it ends in a seven. So that's telling me I'm gonna have to count by some ones. So how many fives are we going to count by to get to 37? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to stop there. So I counted seven fives. Okay. So we have to go and draw those four lines in between again, right? Because remember, it's every one of those black intervals is five minutes. So we need some red lines to represent the one minute. So one, two, three, four, because really, friends, remember, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That's where that's coming from, okay? Now, here is my 37 right there, okay? So how many ones did we count by? We went from our 35, so we went one, two ones. Okay, so remember, we could write this as an addition sentence of the fives plus the ones, Okay, so that would be seven fives plus two ones. I want you to try on your dry erase board to write how many, or what would this look like as a multiplication sentence, actually. Try that as a multiplication sentence. How could I turn this seven fives plus two ones into a multiplication sentence? All right, pause the video if you need more time. Okay, I would write it as seven times five plus two. Okay, so we're grouping that multiplication together and then we're adding those two ones together to give us 37. Okay. Now, let's do a different kind of example with this one. So how is the clock, okay, so think about an analog clock similar to our number line. So here's our clock, okay, and we just did our number line. How is a clock similar to a number line? Well, if I think about it, I see all these little tick marks in between, right? So one, two, three, four, and then that represents a five. One, two, three, four, and that represents another five. So I see that there's tick marks for minutes in here. And then these are like my five minute intervals, except for they don't label them that way. They label them with just the hours on the clock. Okay, so that's similar, right? So really, if you wanted to think about it, friends, you could take like our number line that we stretched out and drew like this, and you could almost take it and fold it and wrap it around a clock, and it might end up looking something very similar to a clock um, with it. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind is our number line is really like a clock. We're just taking it and laying it flat to be able to look at it maybe a little bit easier as opposed to looking at it in a circle, okay? Excuse me, friends. Okay, so here is this clock. What time is shown on this clock? Well, first we need to look a little bit about the features of this clock. So I have this short hand, which is the hour hand, and then I have the long hand, which is the minute hand. Okay, so in order to break this down, first we have to find out the hours and then the minutes. So what's the hour? So when my hand of the hour is between two numbers, you're always going to go back to the smaller number. So for here, it's between five and six. You're going to go back to, this, um, to the five. Now, the only time this doesn't apply to go back to the smaller number is when you're between 12 and one. Okay, when you're between 12 and one, you're actually going to go back to the 12. Okay, but every other time for every other two sets of hours, you're going to go to the smaller number. So the hour is five. Okay, what, um, how many minutes are there in this problem or in this shown on this clock? Okay, so in order for us to figure that out, we got to do some skip counting, friends. Okay, so first we're going to count around by fives. Okay, so pretend this, remember this is just like our number line that we just did. So these hours are actually going to be our five minute intervals. So we're going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. Oh, and then in between, so I'm going to stop. So it's really 45 minutes, and then I'm going to count these little ones in between. So 45, 46, 47, 48. So how many minutes? 48. Okay. So what time is shown on this clock? 548. Okay, so that's just another way to apply what we've learned with a number line. And now you're using an actual analog clock. An analog clock is in this is an example of an analog clock. A lot of times we're very used to a digital clock, which just actually tells us the numbers. But analog clocks, they're still out there. They're great. I have them all over my house. You will have to still know how to tell time on an analog clock. So make sure that you're practicing that whenever you're talking with your learning guide or your family about what time you guys are going to do something together. Practice telling that time, okay? So all 
Oh yeah, great job telling time to the nearest minute today using the number line and the clock. So you guys had to skip count by fives and ones to be able to tell the, no the time on a number line and a clock and you guys did a great job. So please head back on over to the module to see what you all need to complete for your independent practice today. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends. <music>